If you know what a jig streamer is, you need to tie this jig streamer sculpin style. All right, everybody needs an easy jig streamer. This is an easy jig streamer sculpin style. So you'll, uh, of course, want a jig style hook. And I've got my slotted bead. And with slotted beads, especially bigger ones like this, I like to jam a little bit of lead behind the bead. And that will allow that to be propped up like so and so on this uh, slotted bead you want the slot on top and you want the bead to be pushed up like that which we'll accomplish here by jamming our lead back in there and then tying on some uh, thread behind it Right, so I'm going to start off with my marabou, and I've just got the two colors of marabou. I, I like streamers and a lot of flies in general just to have uh, color variations in them. So I'll tie this, and I'll, I'll give this about oh, one and a half times the body length. And we'll just tie that in behind the, the lead there and <clears throat> work my way back like that. And then we can just cut off the excess like so all right now the body on this is just a simple dubbing loop so whatever dubbing loop tool you want to use All right, now into this dubbing loop, we're gonna put our dubbing. You can use whatever, you know, what favorite color dubbing you have. I like this Sculpin Junk color from Arizona Simi Seal that Lance uses on his Big Junk streamer. This is the dark Sculpin color. So we'll just build up our dubbing loop there. So you got your dubbing loop, we'll spin that up and brush it out. And we'll just go right up to just before the bead on top of the lead. It's kind of messy right now. Don't worry, we'll brush it out just like we always do. Nothing a good set of Velcro brushes won't fix. Okay, now we've created a little landing spot for our fins which is just gonna be some ostrich marabou in Sculpin Olive. So what I like to do is just grab a chunk, I don't know, about 10 fibers and a chunk. And I'll just lay those on the side and give it a couple of softer wraps and then I'll just pull these kind of oh, about length of the body a little shorter I guess doesn't have to be super exact that's just going to give us some extra movement and profile and then we'll just do that on the other side Okay, when you have those length, we'll trim it again. Okay, now it's looking pretty 
gnarly here, but we'll just kind of finish it off with some peacock eye stub. And I just like to noodle dub that one. And this will just help hide the tie off points with the uh, ostrich marabou, like that. And then work your wraps right up until in front of that, right between the bead. And then we'll whip finish. So like the uh, other jig streamer style flies that we've posted, this is, uh, you know, you can fish it with your regular floating line. You can use it on a Euro Nymph rig, uh, just whatever streamer rig that you like. But the nice thing is uh, jig style, give you a little bit more flexibility there. Jig streamer sculpin. It's an easy one. Give it a try. Link for all the materials and the recipe is in the description below.